Welcome back to CTV News. Well, the world premiere of The Art of Recovery film was shown last night at the Isaac Theatre Royal to receive a standing ovation. The man behind the film is local filmmaker Peter Young. He's live with me in the studio. Good evening to you. Hi, Chris. What a brilliant film. Thank you. Absolutely brilliant. I say that sincerely. Yeah. Why was this film important for you to make? I just felt compelled to tell this wonderful human story from the earthquakes and um, first of all it was just just simply going out in amongst the ruins and, and seeing these people putting a smile on my face and then everyone else's face and just seeing what they did so simply self, uh, selflessly you know and generously and I just thought this is a great story this is the story about the earthquakes that needs to be told. Peter, when did you realise that what you were filming was so special that you would have enough material to create a film? Oh, you know, Chris, um, it's, it's such a... Only until last night, really, that I felt, wow, I have got a film that really works. That, and that's the honest truth. And, and when you make these films, you, you spend so much of your time wondering um, if it's going to work and where will it go. But last night for me was, um, oh, it was just wonderful. Um, that's in the editing process, but in, in the filming, you know, I filmed lots of beautiful moments, but actually putting them together into cohesive story. It's hard work, is, isn't it? it? It is hard. And this film actually was really hard to put together I for bet me. because in the film there's no narration, there's not somebody that's on a, in a voiceover booth telling you what to feel. It was up to the interviewees to tell their story and for you, the filmmaker, to put it all together. You did such a remarkable job, but I get the sense when I was watching it, um, as you were filming, it was a natural process of evolution. The story as you were filming, it just happened to be. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it was. And I, when you're doing a documentary, um, you know, you are wanting to let these events and people and what they're doing just unfold naturally. Um, what I found was that like I, I was compelled first by all the um, you know the great projects that we were seeing and and then I discovered this bigger picture which was building the city. Everyone there was had a real really keen interest in the rebuild of the city and then you had this interesting dynamic with the um, government-led blueprint coming in and um, also building a city. So you had these two very different sets of values going on in the same place and that made Christchurch such a fascinating place. Um, You're right about that but I think what was also interesting is the fact that I, as I was saying to you off here Peter I almost felt guilty for the fact that I don't feel I got as a broadcaster gave the gap filler people the recognition they so deserve because what they did was absolutely phenomenal. The space they used to create a bit of heart in the city was fantastic. Yeah, it was. Um, and that's the thing, you, you know, when we're in a functioning city and a functioning society, those stories do get pushed out because of the, um, well, for example, today we had that beautiful uh, evening last night, that great celebration of all this, and not one bit of coverage about it you know, because it gets bumped off, because there's always a few more things more important, but, you know, you know um, say maybe econo e economical things, but these things that add so much value to our community it, are important. You're so right, and even as we look at the screen now, and I'm glad that we're actually, find, we're actually showing some images that actually truly represent your film, it's not about doom and gloom, it's about the people of Christchurch that came together, ordinary folk, not the guys in suits, just to to, to bring a bit of cheer. And I mean, look at the shot there, for example, mm. uh, the, the dancer mat, for example, and uh -huh. the way that was captured. But I think what was also interesting, Peter, was the fact that you've got the Sarah approach. And for me, the film really crystallized my discontent for how the government has forced upon something that many people would say they don't want. That's right. I mean... And I don't I think that was actually intentional. It was just how the story evolved, right? Well, it's an interesting dynamic. I mean, the government, uh, they're doing a lot of great stuff in the city, don't get me wrong. Absolutely. They are. But um, I'm not too sure if it should extend so much into rebuilding the city that it takes from the power of the people because uh, you've got to have people have ownership in their own city. And um, when I was filming, I was getting a lot of comment about this feeling of disconnect and disempowerment. And it was coming through so strongly from these people that were 
empowering everyone on the ground. Mm. And so you had these really interesting dynamics going on in this environment. And um, so it was striking that balance. And, and I don't want people to think that I'm trying to split things up. What I'm trying to do is open the discussion because there hasn't been enough discussion in the, in the past few years. Well, I don't think you're splitting anything. What you're doing, for me, is you're crystallising the truth. Mm. And it's amazing in a film that you can feel frustrated, guilty, but I think the most powerful one for me was proud to live in Christchurch. Did you feel that after yeah. you, you'd seen that? Yeah, yeah, it's a great city, great people. Mm. Yeah, Peter Young, congratulations on your success. I hope Thanks. it goes um, all around the world. And just finally, um, another screening uh, this coming Tuesday, right? Tuesday, Isaac 11 a.m. Okay, Back tickets still the available. Excellent stuff. Tuesday, 11 a.m. at the Isaac Theatre Royal. Just head to uh, the New Zealand Film Festival website for all those details.